Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Cardiac Radio, where we are here to nourish our souls. I am Nora Brazil, this host of the program, Pages of Hope, that we may leave beautiful messages, enlightened and intentional and transformational. Um, as we begin today's beautiful study uh, from another poem from the Spiritist Magazine, let's use this song uh, as a way to ask permission to begin this session. It's You Say by Lauren Daigle, France, not a professional, but this song is really intentional for today. Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful, beautiful song, dear friends. Apologize for mistakes, but it's such a beautiful song to get us right into today's study, which is what are we thinking inside ourselves? What are we telling ourselves, right? What's happening? Who are we believing? So let's go back to this beautiful a study entitled, well, it's called Secret Thoughts. That's the name of the poem by Ella Willer Willocks. And this comes from the Spiritist Magazine, page 40, uh, issue number three. This is back from 2008, but it was actually, the poem was actually published originally 
newspaper uh, titled The Progress Thinker back in 1939. And why am I making a point on this? Well, because, dear friends, um, we're like in the 2020s now and we are still working on our thoughts right and as we see this uh these candles think of our thoughts like this right like ideas that are kind of coming out of us right and some thoughts are really powerful and some we just need to modify them so let's uh begin and this is ella and i love this uh picture because i think it really um pictures her of who she is you know course a writer um, but she was also very attuned right with the, the world around her and the nature and it would be so lovely to go back in time to that moment where she's at and just to have a conversation with her it would be so interesting and you know um, she would uh, publish uh, her poems in newspapers that was very common for her and she had some published books as well but it wasn't until when her husband uh, passed away, right? Her husband passed away. She had a, a moment, a transformational moment that changed her life. Uh, and, of course, it was evident in her poetry and her writing of what she was uh, experiencing. So this is one of the books that came out of that um a beautiful process that she had while well, yes it was very difficult uh she came out really strong and wrote some beautiful things this book is called the heart of the new thought and let me show you the book dear friends uh i think i downloaded it yeah so this is the book and the book has of course a picture of her and if we look at the book again this is back <laughs> quite some time I want to look at the table of contents, which I <laughs> don't know where it went, dear friends. Okay, we are going to go another route if I cannot find it through here. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, this is a... Give me one minute. I was... Here it is. <laughs> okay, we have different uh, different ways to access the book, and if we see here in this book all the the things that she um, uh, that she wrote about, and today we're actually going to read just a couple of excerpts of Thought Force before we even read the poem, because then we will really understand what do we mean by thoughts. What about those uh, thoughts? So as we are reading this, let's picture ourselves having, again, going there with uh, Ella in that place and just seeing, reading these uh, thoughts and trying to see what they mean. Every thought, word, and de deed is helping decide your next place in the Creator's magnificent universe. You will be beautiful, or ugly, wise, or ignorant, fortunate, or unfortunate, according to what use you make of yourself here and now again free will right to take us to where we need to be and the power of thought she also wrote even if you escape the immediate results of the opposite course of action here you must face the law of cause and effect in the new state right it is inevitable god the maker of all things does not change his laws and i thought wow here we talking about someone back in the day, not a spiritist, but already having those fundamentals, sharing these uh, very progressive thoughts back in the day, right? Thinking about, wow, a thought can really create something. Um, and then she continues, there is a divine purpose in your being on earth. Think of yourself as necessary to the great design. It is an inspiring thought. And then consider the immensity of the universe and how accurately the maker planned it all. Absolutely transformational. You know, going back to the song, we started, where are we at, right? What do we keep telling ourselves? Do we believe in ourselves? And there she is writing this very uh, inspirational book about seeing ourselves as a great design 
um, encourage you if you get a chance to read this book and read the whole text is very lovely all right dear friends so now we are ready to actually read the poem so I'm gonna grab my poem here if you haven't downloaded the app dear friends uh, Spiritist magazine app is here that's where I'm gonna be reading the poem as we watch this um, be a beautiful uh, video to go with it secret thoughts I hold it true that thoughts are things endowed with bodies breath and wings and that we send them forth to fill the world with good results or ill that which we call secret thought speeds to the earth's remotest spot and leaves its blessings or its woes like tracks behind it as it goes it is god's law remember it in your still chamber as you sit with thoughts you would not dare have known and yet make comrades when alone these thoughts have life and they fly and have their impress by and by like some marsh breeze whose poison breath breathes into homes its favored breath and after you have quite forgot or all but grown some vanished thought back to your mind to make its home a dove or raven it will come and let your secret thoughts be fair they have a vital part and share in shaping worlds and molding fate God's system is so intricate your friends right it's so beautiful let's uh, look at the poem now and just look at some some little lines to capture you know and I encourage you to go back could we talk about this poem for a while of course we can right but I guess now our intention is let's look at the title what does she mean by secret thought so we know that she uh, makes the thought uh, like a, she personifies it, right? She gives it that element of being a being, of being alive, which again is a, a, a reminder to us that thoughts are not just something that we know how to define. You know, we match it in a vocabulary quiz or we identify it, right? It's something that is in action. It's something at the top of our lives. It's a... Uh, and it, how do we know this? He says here, right? Endowed with bodies, breath, and wings. So yes, it's thoughts could be things, but it, there's more than that. And it says here, we send whatever we send. We are we their good results or they're ill. But you know, one of the most uh, interesting lines here is when she says about, we call it a secret thought, and we think, oh, it goes somewhere, but it's it's gonna go to this you know, remote spot, and it's, we're going to hide it. It's never going to be here. But even then, it's going to come back, right? It's going to come right back. There's no hiding. And so we think sometimes, um, you know, that our thoughts are not going to come back or haunt us. But they, and I use the word haunt us because some, a lot of these thoughts that we want to hide, those are not the good thoughts, right? Those are the ones that might bring ill results, as she points here in her poem. So, but they will, they they will, they will come back. And because, as she says, the law of uh, 
cause and effect in spiritism, we know it's a law of cause and effect. Everything that we put out there is out there and it's going to manifest. So we, we have to be very careful. And then she continues saying, you know, um, these thoughts have life and they will fly. Again, friends, what are we thinking? What are we sending out there? Like the we saw in the video uh, when I was reading this poem, what came to mind was a bird because a bird has the function of flying and going and imagine our our thoughts like those, those beautiful birds right where are they going where are they taking how far are they going and so they will fly um and what kind of messages are they uh ex expanding you know spreading um and she uses the word fevered breath right she has this idea of poison right um and if you remember when we were reading her a little bit of the other text right this comes so much from the idea she actually mentioned there that um would we allow a dear friend to be slowly poisoned right and of course we wouldn't but yet we're we're okay poisoning ourselves right not self-checking our thoughts and so forth and so she describes as like a fevered breath like in a an overreaction of something that's not going to create a peaceful thought right but then she goes and comes back with the idea of this secret thought and says you know it's gonna come back home so yeah we think it's out there it's gonna fly away it's gonna not do as well but it will come home because every thought that we have we we are connected to it and the thought says oh that's my home so we it needs to come back to a good beautiful, positive, inspiring, loving, charitable, which is us, right? She says, secret thoughts be fair. They have a vital part and share. So the way I see this, you know, if we're thinking our thoughts, could we share them? And then, you know, and of course, not every thought. There are things that we keep to ourselves. And I was talking about, you know, the way we we talk to ourselves uh, on a daily basis um if we cannot uh, i guess the way she's saying here if it's not something that is prudent and constructive right that we can share maybe we should be very careful and of course say shaping words and molding fate in god's system meaning what we say is part of this unit network right this intricate system of god and so we we want to share the good news share good thoughts thinking about ourselves and everything dear friends so that's a quick uh, uh study of the poem it's a beautiful poem and thinking about the bird and so forth so let's go back and to wrap up we're pretty much finished right she ends up uh she ends the the uh, other phrase thought force with this beautiful idea which is which says i won't read the whole thing just well, quickly, friends, learn how to walk, how to poise your body, how to breathe, how to hold your head, how to focus your mind on things of universal importance. Believe your tender, loving thoughts, right? Um, so it says, not only will you be more useful and happy, but you will grow more beautiful and keep your youth. And we know that uh, Dr. Anceloni is doing studies at 11 p.m. about love and health health and how they affect our, our our biological system and of course spiritual and all right so there it is friends and let's remember what paul says as for the rest my brothers everything that is true everything that is honest everything that is just everything that is pure everything that is lovely everything that is admirable if there's anything virtuous and praiseworthy think on this thank you paul this is in um in the bible and thank you so much paul because now we have uh you know now coming into spiritism right now we're gonna come back and thank alan for taking us there now spiritism is gonna take it to the next level and we know that you could study uh genesis dear friends andre luis's books and you will get a better uh, understanding and of course here we have our daily bread many servants of christ just change the words they use, believing that they reform their thoughts. However, 
at recapitulating retentive experiences when circum circumstances repeat themselves they once again encounter the same troubles as before because obstacles and darkness have remained in their mind like hidden phantoms to think is to create there it is we have the spiritism and ellen ella's poem and even the song that we sang and watching the video they all have the same theme right let's watch our thoughts and it's not really thinking that we change them but going really really deep inside of us and doing that uh, so uh, self-search by right? taking time every day to uh, collect our thoughts and you know it's sometimes as we have very difficult days and it's hard right but if we take deep breaths we stop right think of a beautiful image think of our thoughts as being alive as a bird right and how do we want to create all of this all right dear friends so this is today's study love 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 poetry i hope you uh enjoyed uh studying this poem and i once again I hope that you guys uh, check it out and and see what, what else do you see. God bless you. Uh, there are many other amazing programs. Please uh, tune in to Cardiac Radio. And until next week, bye.